every son of an Adam is a sinner. But Jesus is not the son of an Adam. Do you now learn, Muslims, why Jesus have no father? Because every son of an Adam is a sinner. And you just admitted that Jesus has no sin. Which means he is pure divine. For only God have no sin. Muhammad have a sin. Everybody have a sin. I have a sin. You have a sin. But Jesus does not. And yet you say to me you are a Muslim. You have to be mentally ill. To go against your own ideas. You say to me Jesus is not a sinner. Muhammad is a sinner. Everybody is a sinner. Of course, Muhammad is a sinner, but Jesus is not a sinner. So why you follow Muhammad anyway? Let us say for the sake of argument, Jesus is not, not even a God, not divine. If we have someone who never commits sin and we have somebody who is full of sin, which one we should follow? Stupidity is amazing. Hello? I see P, you're right. Hey, my friend, how are you? Yeah, I'm good. Thank you. Um, I'm just watching your YouTube uh, video. Mm -hmm. You just said um, Muhammad received uh, messy, um, revelations when um, Asha's panties. Like Can you show me that, please? What, Muhammad, what? You said he received revelations of the Quran when uh, with Aisha's All right. Are panties. you a Muslim, my friend? Um, born in the Muslim family, yes. Okay, so you're a Muslim. All right. I wouldn't really say that, but I've born in the Muslim family. I've been watching your videos, so yeah. just want to just more information for myself. That's all. All right. We go in the hadith and we'll find you the reference. No problem. No, I know usually when you say something, you always back it up. And just sure, sure. sure. It's in front of me, actually. Yeah, I'm looking at it now. Okay, let's see. Uh, you speak Arabic, correct? No, 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 no. You don't? No. Okay, it says in your front of me. Yeah, look at the Aisha part. Yeah. Hmm. So, no, I don't speak Arabic. Sorry. Okay. I didn't say I speak. Let us see no. if the translation will come with the with the correct translation, because Muslims they try to, to sometimes to hide. Uh... All right. Uh... You yeah, see, in the whole translation, the thing does not even appear. Okay. Here we go. Read it, this one as an example. This one, I have reported, yeah? The one, mm -hmm. Prophet. He said, Fatima to the Prophet. Fatima to the Prophet. He had permission. Where he will dress. And uh, she came in and she said, your wife sent me to you know, ask you. Okay, wearing the wool, oh, okay, he's wearing the wool dress. Hmm. You must be pretty with that dress. <laughs> wool dress in the, in, in, in the Middle East, I mean, I don't, I don't it's, you know, yeah anyway uh, you see this is the Muslim translation and then it's not really uh, a mirth is not necessarily a world dress but it is a, a clo women clothing specifically and mm. you know there's many references clearly that this is only women clothing so why a prophet of God he wear women clothing no idea no idea all right anything else my friend no, thank you very much, CP. I All appreciate right. that. Okay, thank I advise you. you to leave Islam, my friend. Islam is not good for you. You sound smarter than, you know, smarter to be a Muslim for a second. No, I'm, like I said, I was born in a Muslim family, and um, just uh, it's it's really scary. Um, I've been I've been listening to you. I've been tr trying to find a fault in you, hmm. and uh, I've been checking everything up, and just can't fault you. Everything you say, you just back it up. And I looked myself, I checked myself. I've even actually got this. Um, it's a different Quran translation. It's by um, uh, Iraqi Christian, a Jew, sorry. 
is in a Penguin uh, book, which is not even available anywhere now. Just look at translations of Sahih Muslim and everybody else, and then try and do a comparison with this. And, and everything you say it just matches up, and just just it's really scary. This is honestly, I, I just. Yeah, my, you know, the, the, the thing is, the Muslims, mm. this is why the Muslims they don't want to debate me because you see, I don't say things if I cannot prove it. I don't make a claim because anyone can make a claim, correct? You can make a claim. I can, anyone can make a claim. But for yeah. me, I say something like, here we go, without you surprise me, says, okay, show me where it says that. In a second, it took maybe a, maybe a minute or two to show you the reference, right? So, yeah, I don't say things without proofs. Same time, I am not like you know. This is why the Muslims are scared to debate me because they have mm. very little knowledge, and even the one who have a lot of knowledge, actually the one who have too much knowledge, he is the one who will be scared of me most, because he knew how I can switch things upside down in him in anything he say. You notice the Muslim who called me, I was asking him from what he said to me, not what I said to him. He said no, to me, think, he said I to me, Allah is the most high. Him. He said to me, Allah the most high. I asked him, I hit him with a question, he have no answer. He said, Allah, he gave him the first verse, read, he don't know how to answer. He said, I, the, mm. Allah is the, the creator. I said, okay, how is the best the creators? He have no answer. So a Muslim always is terrified. He is a Muslim, yeah, yeah. he's a strong Muslim. Mm. As long as you don't ask him a details, the second you ask him details, he is in trouble because Islam is well, the most silly religion. Well, I remember your debate with a uh, uh, thing, somebody from Al Azhar University, and then you just run off like you know. He, the thing is that when you four get time. people who four know, time he yeah. run off, four time he run away, four time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, what I've noticed, right? Every time you speak to him, um, this is what upsets me. But when you speak to him, um, uh, this is I'm, I'm just waiting for somebody to actually answer you. And when you speak to somebody, ask them a question, and they just start giving you jack and orries about something else, and then. It, they never answer the question that you ask them. They, you know, you ask them if is it dark outside. They'll start telling you, "Oh, it was summertime." Blah blah blah. And then, and they still won't answer that. And then you keep saying that, and that that confuses me. Nobody's actually managed to answer you properly. Like, you know, Maybe you can help us. Maybe if you know somebody, he claimed to be a scholar. Tell him why you don't come and call this guy. You know, please come and get him busted. This guy is really a problem. And we want you to call him and do the, the do the jihad. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think nobody's gonna call you. CP, you take care. Thank you very much. If I have any more questions, I'm, I'll, I'm just, I'll keep watching you. Yeah, welcome, my I'll friend. I advise call. you Thank to denounce Islam as soon as possible and I invite you to accept my Lord, the Messiah, as your savior, my friend. So I take this opportunity to invite you before you hang up, and it's up to you to accept or to 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 to, to think about it or to to refuse. It's up to you. No, no, I do believe in Jesus, right? I do believe in very, very strongly, but I just want to keep watching you. I mean, right. I don't believe in Muhammad. All right, I no don't. problem. That's I good. Don't. I'm so happy that you decided to leave Islam, obviously. Correct. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Sidi. Take care. Take care. Right. See, this is why I say to you, you know, you know, sometimes uh, some of you make a comment against Muslims, and I say, don't ever hate Muslims. Muslims are poor people, need our help. The one who called me before this gentleman and this gentleman who just called me, I feel sorry for them to be Muslims. But if you if you want to bring someone out of the of, of darkness, you, you will not do that by calling him names. Show him proof, show him reference, and he will be shocked. The same as the guy who called me, he was so excited 15 minutes ago when he called me. He was very excited. He thought he got something. Oh, Christian Prince, I was watching your videos and I almost watched them, all of them. And now because of your video, I think I want to convert to Islam, which means he's lying because he's a Muslim already. But less than 30 seconds after, he regret calling me. Your Lord made you slave of sex. Your Lord made you slave of your belly and your stomach. Your Lord, even in his heaven, is about addiction to sex and billy and talk and, and, and stupid things. You go to the heaven of Islam, what you have? You have addiction. Addiction of what? Of sex. 70 years orgasm. What kind of God he promised me 70 years orgasm? I go to visit Shabir Ali or Zakir Naik. I knock at his door. He says to me, oh, Christian Prince, I come back 10 years from now. I am now... In the in my in my sixty years orgasm, I have ten years more to go. <laughs> what 
when they asked Jesus about heaven, he said he and she, they will not get married. Which means you will be free like angels. He and she, they will not get married. They will be the same as angels, which means you will be free from slavery. What is the slavery we have in our life? We have to sleep. We get sick. We need to eat. E eating is not just, it, it, maybe you enjoy eating, but it is a must. It's not really a choice. I wish I don't eat. Truly, truly, I wish I will never need to eat. I wish I never need to sleep. When you live 60 years in your life, you slept 20 years already, which means 20 years of your life is gone. So in the heaven of Jesus, you will be free. You will not be sex addicted. You will not be food addicted. You will not be, you, you will get your freedom in Islamic heaven. You became more addicted to slavery. In the top of that, in the heaven of Allah, you are going to abuse a human. Slavery in the heaven of Allah. 80,000 women, they will be your sex slave. 80,000 little boys, they will be your servant. And we are not sure if they will be your sex slaves too. Because the Quran says, and they will never bleed. How is time can be a religion in any main, in any way? Jami'ut Turmudi. I'm for sure this hadith is da'if. Anything will make Islam look like stupid. Hmm. The last, the least of the people of paradise in the position is the one with 80,000 servants and 72 wives. Eighty thousand servant. What I would do with eighty thousand servant? In the heaven of Allah, there's no laundry. You don't even take a shower. You never sweat. You never get dirty. Your clothes never wrinkle. Your clothes will never be ruined. You will be wearing a green silk forever. You don't even change your panty. If you wish a food is going to be in front of you, so what servant for? Those are boys for sex, obviously. Eighty thousand little boys. 72 wives. This is the lowest reward of a person. He go to heaven the lowest. So what is the highest? He shall have a tent of pearl tent of pearl. Well, thank you very much My friend we are victorious by the name of Christ not by the name of Christian Prince Our Lord he said read the books I did. Our Lord, he said, be smart. I decide to become one. Because you can be stupid, even if you have a brain. Our Lord, he said, find and search for the truth. I did. Our Lord, he said, the truth will set you free. And he made me free.